What's poppin' guys? Back like we never left, BDA. And One Piece Chapter 905 is set to be released this week, later this week. Not sure exactly when, but if we're gonna go by the previous weeks, probably Friday morning, not Friday morning Eastern Standard Time. Um, but... <laughs> We should be good to go this week. Of course, last week the chapter was canceled or the chapter wasn't finished or whatever because Oda apparently got sick. And for health reasons, uh, the chapter wasn't released. I'm not sure I, that's what was floating around. I didn't fact check or anything. I think I saw Yonko posted it. Um, so that should be pretty pretty credible. So um, off of that, chapter 905 should be out this week. I have great expectations for it. So quick recap of last chapter. We got the Revolutionary Army and pretty much that was it. We got some insight into the Revolutionary Army and exactly their plans and some of the powers or the abilities of the Revolutionary Army. There was a lot of backlash though. A lot of people felt like the Revolutionary Armies they did not live up to the hype. I apologize guys, the video did not come out last week based on this, but I will make a video eventually as far as what I think about the Revolutionary Commanders. But quickly on them, I think it's too soon. And for the Viz translation, just gotta say, it was not Commanders, it was Captains. So people assumed that Commanders should be coming up and that those guys were just under them. I don't think that's the case. I think that the captains are just what Dragon calls his people. Like Kaido has calamities and Big Mom has her sweet commanders. And I feel like everybody has like a different thing, right? My quick thoughts on the captains though, I think that they are fine. Just way too soon to speculate. Dragon doesn't seem like the type of guy to go into a battle not prepared. And I don't think he's the type of guy to go into battle just straight up anyway. It's gonna be something special that's gonna happen here. And of course, the declaration of war thing is key. And shout out to Driss. Driss made a video um, earlier today talking about what he thinks Dragon is gonna do. He talked about Dragon freeing the slaves as a declaration of war, um, as the act that's going to basically send the world into a frenzy. And I somewhat agree with that because I don't think Dragon has to show up at the Reverie or do anything to the Reverie to actually declare war. But he has to have some action behind it to kind of spur and let them know that he's for real. So I, I agree with that sentiment. Not sure if I agree with the action. It would be cool if that actually happened, but I agree that Dragon has to act in some way. So expect a revolutionary video sometime soon. Not sure when, but just expect it. But while you're here, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you have not for more content like this. I appreciate all the support that I get. But for right now, let's get into the meat of the video. Pause. So based on the thumbnail, I guess you can kind of figure what I'm going to talk about here and what I predict is going to happen next chapter. I predict that Marco is going to show up next chapter. I've been saying this for a long time that Marco has to turn up eventually or not even just Marco, what's going on with the Minx, what's going on with Marco, and what's going on with everybody in Wano. But as far as what's going on with Marco, I think that's tied to a lot of things that's going on right now. Think about the climate of everything. We just got Luffy's new bounty revealed. We got some revolutionary armies. So it's like huge reveals coming up. So I think Oda could try to top that by showing us what's going on with Marco and give us a flashback of the payback war as far as from Marco's perspective. Show us the Minx going after or Nekamush and Inirashi going after Marco and show us the remnants of the White Bear Pirates or some of them. Another way Oda could try to top what just happened is showing us Marco's bounty because I assume Marco's bounty is probably higher than Luffy's right now. I know that Luffy's being considered a Goko, but Katakuri's bounty was one bill. So I would assume Marco would be around would be around that. Maybe it's lower than Luffy's, maybe so. But even if it is higher, it'd be a way to kind of spur and incite some excitement. <laughs> for lack of a better term, in the fandom, which we really don't need right now. Um, of course, some people were disappointed with the revolutionaries, but most people were pretty excited because this is something that we've been waiting for for a long time. So personally, I was super excited for the revolutionaries. Of course, I said that the title was a lot better. Well, not a lot. The title was better than the chapter because based on the title, I formulated a bunch of things that I saw happening and it didn't turn out that way. And we do that shit all the time where we have something in our minds and we think, this should happen, this should happen. When it doesn't happen, we're naturally disappointed. And that, you know, opens it up for speculation and different feelings on a specific chapter. But based on the title, the Revolutionary Armies, I expected to see somebody that we've seen before that is an undercover revolutionary. That was my expectation. So when we saw like Morley and Betty and Caruso and Caruso, whatever the nigga's name is, whenever we saw that, it was like, okay, now what I expected. Excited, 
but not what I expected. Back to Marco, I think that that's something that has to happen eventually, really soon, because we have been waiting for a long time to see what happened to Marco. Of course, we don't know if Marco still have his, has his devil fruit. One would assume that more than likely he does because he is alive, but one of my theories were that Marco, even if he lost his devil fruit, he would not die based on the type of fruit he had. He has the phoenix fruit, of course, so I would think the phoenix, uh, one of the lures or one of the things about the phoenix is that they rise from their own ashes. They, When they die, they rise from their own ashes. I recently watched Harry Potter, so that was something that happened with Dumbledore's phoenix. If you haven't watched it, don't worry about it. But the phoenix, that's one of the things. So for me, I don't know if Marco necessarily has to have his devil fruit. It would be cool if he still did because I think he has to be a key part in defeating Kaido. Of course, I don't think Kaido actually falls in Wano anymore. I mean, I'm 50-50 I'm on that. I go back and forth all the time. Right now, I don't think Kaido falls. Just how the story's been playing out. And of course, I'm the type of guy as new information becomes available, I have the right to change my mind. So, fuck it. So, for instance, say they give us some flashbacks of the payback war and show us some, some of what happened. And... They could give reveals as to what exactly happened to the white beard pirates or the remnants of the white beard pirates because we don't know much we know that they disbanded we know that weevil is actually looking for them as well so that's another thing that could tie in here we could see weevil i said in my last prediction that weevil is going to show up here um i would like to see weevil show up in a chapter with marco i think they go hand in hand because he's actually looking for marco and he's looking for somebody well actually he's looking for luffy to take him to marco so it would be cool if we saw weevil pull up on Luffy, and then we saw exactly what Marco was doing because that would tie into the story really greatly. Um, like I said, showing Marco's bounty is another thing that I could see happening in this chapter because we haven't seen much bounties as far as like of other Yonko and their crews other than the Yonkos we've come into like full contact with like Big Mom. We haven't even seen Whitebeard's bounty. And that's something that you don't reveal yet because of the pedestal that you put Whitebeard on. Whitebeard is supposedly the guy that's stronger or next to roger right as far as strength and overall status so for whitebeard and someone like that you don't reveal his bounty maybe till closer to the end of the series but i think marco you can reveal it now i think it's a lot safer too especially after luffy's bounty which could be higher than marco's i i wouldn't be surprised if marco's was higher but it'd be kind of difficult for me to see that marco's is that much higher than katakuri's of course there's no real basis for this um because we have no other right hands and their bounty so it's all right now we go off katakuri and his one billion berry bounty you're gonna be people that's loud in the back saying what about jack i know about jack i understand jack but we have no idea if he's a right hand man of course in the anime it said that jack is the right hand man so how much stock do we actually put in the anime for me i put some into it so if jack is the right hand man i'm not surprised jack was impressive in some of the things that he did as far as holding out versus an entire country by yourself with an army of undead so undead soldiers but we, we just leave that part out. By himself, Jack held off an entire country. A strong country that's said to have an army of warriors. So I think that's right hand worthy, personally. But if Jack isn't the right hand, I'm not surprised as well. For me, I thought that Kaido's crew, it could be a situation in which you have the right hand switches based on Kaido's mood or based on your most recent feat. So... It's weird, but I don't think the crews have to operate in the same way. We have a designated right hand, and then it doesn't have to be that way. They can all be different. But to put a bow on all this, this is what I think happens. Marco shows up. Weevil shows up. We get Marco's bounty, and we get more reactions from around the world to Luffy's bounty. I think this is the time for great things to happen. They may show... Of course, it's a countdown because it's two days until the reverie. It could be a countdown of, like, the next day and show then one day until the reverie. I think that may be the route that Oda takes here. But I absolutely see Marco showing up. Weevil is showing up, more bounty reactions, and a surprise bounty reveal of Marco. We may see a reveal of one of the Revolutionary Army's bounty. Not sure who, but we may see a reveal of that. That's something I'll be excited to see. But um, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think, do you see any of these things happening? What do you predict happens? And what are your thoughts of Marco, on Marco? I plan to make a, a whole video around Marco and what I see him doing now and going forward based on things from the past. But for right now, let me know your thoughts on Marco. What do you see happening? Um, what do you think his bounty is? That would be an interesting thing as far as like what people think Marco should be or where people think Marco should be. So interesting stuff, guys. Let me know if you liked the video. And if you did, make sure you click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys because of you. A lot of this is possible. So thank you guys so much. And shout out to all you guys that support me on a daily basis from Discord to Twitter to Instagram. Follow me on all those at BragoDace and on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Um, I believe that's what it is. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.